this is, this isn't me in prison with a mugshot. This is a piece of paper say, which says the word that I'm going to say or will have said. Because what happens is when you get a lot of photos with a lot of results, you lose track of what's what unless you, unless you write it down for each one. So in each photo or in each video, it's important to hold up a, a, a word, what you're saying, and stick your tongue out so that you know what the, um, what the marks on your tongue or what the marks on your palate actually represent, because otherwise you just lose track. So here we're going to be saying the word some, because we're going to contrast uh, the way that everybody involved in this says the s sound. Some of it, sometimes it goes straight forward, sometimes the air string goes out to the side a bit, so we're going to take turns in saying it and see what happens. The reason we've chosen the word some is because Firstly, it's a real word, so we don't have the forced circumstances of just saying assa or esse, which linguists, which linguists often do. And secondly, we've chosen it because it's the only, uh, it's the, the, in this word, the only alveolar position is the s. If you said something like suit, the, the t at the end would then sort of interfere with the s at the start, and you get a very, very messy reading. Because it has the letter, sorry, the sound that we're interested in, and then only sounds that don't have tongue contact. So for the a, uh, it's a kind of open vowel, so we don't have e is side contact, and m we're only closing the lips, so we don't have contact on the palate anywhere either. So the only contact we get is here, the s, and then we can see it well. Yeah.